Hello, Anthony here with ComputerRepairClub.com. Today I'm going to make a video about how to um, attempt to get your laptop to turn back on after if it won't turn on um, if you get a black screen. So, uh, yeah, uh, I was uh, reading through the forum and uh, uh, one of the commenters posted, uh, you know, that it, his problem he's having that his laptop won't turn on. So a lot of times your laptop is it's going to be a lot harder to fix but there's some simple steps you can take to turn get a laptop turning back on if uh, if it won't turn on so that's what this video is about so here we go so here are the tools I recommend having on hand a screwdriver kit um, with multiple pieces just so you get the right fit for your screw um, a magnetic screw tray so you can, so you don't lose any of your screws and if you can find one of these guys um, you might be able to find them down at Home Depot or Couple, like a Radio Shack would definitely have it, I would assume. So, this is another tool you'd want to get your hands on. This is a power supply tester. Let me show you how this power supply tester works. So, we got the power supply. Let me put one end into here. And if it works, and if the light comes on, now it's kind of hard to do this in a bit in there. If the light comes on, that means you have a good power supply. Um, that's the first thing I would test when attempting to see what's going on with your laptop. After you've determined that your power supply is good, you come over here and uh, the next thing you want to do is flip your laptop over and you'll see you have a, an eject button for your battery. You push that, you take it out, put that aside, come back over here, um, press the power button, nothing that that discharges any power that's left in your laptop. Okay. And I just recommend leaving the battery out and taking your power supply, plugging it in, and turning it on. And hopefully it'll do this. Hopefully it'll turn on. And I'm going to turn it back off. And uh, then you unplug your power again. Flip it back over, put your battery back into the laptop, flip it over again, and you can see if that uh, fixes your laptop. And we'll press the power, and hopefully it turns back on. If it still doesn't work, you have to take the next step, which is uh, reseeding the memory. Okay, so, and the third thing we're going to attempt to do is remove the memory and plug it back in. So to access the memory, the first thing we do is unplug the power, flip the computer over, take, get this, the, the switch here, push that in, take out the battery. As you can see, Screw right there next to this little memory picture. Unscrew that. Lift it up. And that's the memory chip right there. So we just push this lever here and push this lever here. It's going to be hard to plug it back in. Okay, those two levers I showed you, we pull them both apart with both fingers and lift up here. Now the memory is out. The next thing I do is I flip it back over, open it up. Let me zoom out here. And I take the power cable, plug it in. See if it turns on. 
Once you do that, unplug the power because it won't turn on completely with the memory chip out. And uh, plug the memory back in. Let me show you how to plug the memory in. Okay. So, I just take, I match this with this. You see that slot there? I just slide it in. And I push down. It's back in place. Now I replace the cover back on the laptop like this. Let's see, let's see here. That looks like, oh, you push this side goes in like that, then you push down. Kind of bow it a little. Screw it back into place. Put your battery pack back in. Flip it over. Open it up. Plug in the power. Plug the power in. Turn it back on and hopefully it does this right here. And see how we're doing. So now it's working hopefully. So that's a uh, those are some steps you can do to try to fix your laptop. Hi, so hopefully that helps you fix your problem. Um, just to rehash, step one, check your power supply. Step two, unplug the battery, power off and on, and uh, plug it back in and plug the power back in. And step three, reseat the memory. Hopefully one of those steps will fix you. Those are the three common things you can do easy to fix your laptop computer. Other than that, it starts getting into deep into taking it deep uh, taking it apart and getting deep into the system. So if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And always visit computerrepairclub.com. Feel free to ask any questions. We could help you out, or I, I'll be answering a lot of those questions. So. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this video.